Welcome back as we work to connect with each other and with Jesus. Let's be honest, eating healthy is difficult. And it's difficult on some level because usually healthy food doesn't taste nearly as good as unhealthy food. And another difficulty is the fact that healthy food almost always costs more. So it just costs more money to actually buy the food. Now, there are different tricks we do to try to get the same taste, but maybe not have the same level of unhealthiness. You know, we drink diet pop. We use a cooking spray with no calories or fat in it, and we use that instead of butter. Or, you know, we use low sodium, low sugar, or we, we use other things that just take out some of the, the more unhealthy characteristics of our food. But another thing we do sometimes is we take a healthy food item and we cover it in unhealthiness. Now we add ranch or cheese or butter. I mean, dipping your carrot in ranch really takes away some of the nutritional value. But that's what we try to do. We, we try to cover the healthy with unhealthy so we can tolerate the healthy. But on some levels, I hope we recognize that covering the good with bad decreases the goodness of the good. It makes it less good. But Jesus has called us from the bad. He has called us to escape that. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 16, Peter writes, For you are free, yet you are God's slaves. So don't use your freedom as an excuse to do evil. Jesus has called us to be free. He has saved us from sin and is calling us to an obedient life to him, not to oppress us, but to free us. So what Peter writes and Paul writes about this and Jesus talks about this, don't allow sin to come and to oppress you anymore. Don't allow sin to come and cover your goodness. Jesus has made you good. Jesus has cleansed you. He has purified you. Don't allow the badness of this world to cover you. Because that badness will destroy, uh, distort the goodness that Jesus has done inside you. Jesus has purified you. Lean in to the holiness that Jesus has called you to live. Stay connected to each other and to Jesus.